David Gakan, hello. Hello. Uh, I'm Paul. I'm from Radio RMFFM from Poland. Mm -hmm. uh, and first of all, first question, what language do you choose, Polish or English? I can in both. <laughs> Well, I only have English, so... English. Yeah, you'd, you'd uh, probably be better to you. stay there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't I... think we have time. <laughs> okay. But uh, Polish language may be useful because you are on a tour, you will, will you see, in Poland, in Warsaw next year. You're back on a tour. Mm -hmm. What's what is the what feeling to back? Um, we're excited about it. I mean, we just announced the tour, uh, or the, at, least, at least the first dates of the tour um, in North America and a uh, summer tour in some big stadiums in Europe um, and uh, yeah of course we're coming to Poland um, uh, and so excited to f f see and feel what that's going to be like after a good few years of not walking on a stage with my band you're back, but not only on a tour, but uh, with mu music, uh, album uh, Memento Mori. I must to say I've had more optimistic titles before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Memento Mori because of uh, Andy Fletcher passed away, because of Covid times. Why? Well, it's not because Fletcher. It, the, the title was, um, I mean, of course, we can't help but think about this. Um, uh, the title and you know Fletch passing yeah. afterwards, but the title for the record was um, had already been suggested um, a couple of months before Fletch passed um, um, because of the subject matter of the songs, um, which are all about uh, life and uh, how. Uh, quickly it passes, it can pass, and also could be taken from you at any time, and uh, what you're doing with it while you're mm -hmm. here. The, the songs uh, all kind of really question that kind of, ask questions about that and lean into the idea of of death and that we all we all have to die. You yeah, know? Yeah. Um, the title, yeah, is a, the direct translation, the Latin translation is remember that you must die. Must die, yeah. Um, I must uh, ask about uh, Andy. It, mm. it was a hard situation for you. Mm -hmm. I wrote, uh, I read your uh, statement. Uh, you said that Andy was a man with, uh, with warm heart and mm -hmm. cold beer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I want to ask you uh, the most uh, crazy, funniest memories of them. You, you always knew when Fletch was in the room. You know, he. Uh, you know, was very much a part of the band. Um, he, um, his presence uh, during all the time that we've spent together was very important. And, um, you know, he, he is already very missed by myself and Martin. And of course, all his friends and family, more importantly, um, his wife and his children. Yeah. Um, it was just very sudden. It's not something we expected. Unfortunately, he didn't he get to hear any of the songs that Martin and I were working on. Mm. Um, he never heard any of the demos. He never got to be part of, of this record. But during the recording of it, many times I know Martin and I felt that he was kind of here. Um, he would have liked what we were doing. Mm -hmm. um, he also would have not liked some of what we were doing and made his uh, voice known, um, but I would ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'll always remember like when we walked into this hotel, Martin and I both kind of had a thought about, with the, we saw the bar and Fletch would always sit at the end of the bar where he would have, you know, his beer you know, or a Diet Coke and a toasted ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> and it was pretty much what he had every day. Too many cigarettes. No. Uh, he should have not been smoking so many cigarettes, right? Yeah. Um, but anyway, he's, he's not here yet now, but um, um, he's, it'll be, he's, he's missed. And it's, uh, it's strange doing all these things without him. All the things even that annoyed me about Fletch, that where we would fight and we would over things often, uh, disagreeing on things. Um, he was very protective over Martin um, and Martin's ideas. 
and often would talk to me about what Martin would like. And it was very frustrating because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I would yeah. want to have that conversation myself with Martin, but we were always, we've kind of become more and more unable to do that. So, you know, Fletch, Fletch passing away forced also Martin and I to have to, to have to come together yeah. or not. And we, we made the choice to, to, uh, to, thank you for the to, choice. To, to, you know, come together and, uh, use our strengths to, uh, find a, find the friendship that's always been there. Um, Martin described it as like, we were kind of, like long, long lost brothers or something that were trying to sort yeah, of get yeah. to know each other, you know, uh, uh, for the first time in 40 years. And, you know, we're, we're, we're figuring that out. Mm -hmm. It's strange to say I've, I've known somebody for 40 years and now I feel like I'm, I'm just starting to become friends with them. And losing Fletch, uh, you know, kind of, a, has made that sort okay, of I, I understand. Yeah. Um, yesterday when it was a press conference, my first impression when I saw you was, damn it, he's in a good shape. <laughs> what you are doing? I want to be uh, like you in your age. <laughs> Sports, um, diet. You know, I just, I, I do my best to try and, uh, and most of it's vanity, you know, so it's like, you know, I do, mm -hmm. It, it will keep you alive to stay vain, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> um, it's useful. But um, no, I mean, I, I, I work hard at trying to stay uh, healthy. It doesn't always work. Uh, but now, especially, I, you know, getting ready to go on the road and, you know, it takes longer. Yeah. You know, I spend time working on that. I work with somebody, I've worked with a physical therapist, I work with a trainer. Oh wow, how many push-ups you can do? And I do that, <laughs> I don't really do push-ups, but uh, yeah. it's do more it's... like building building endurance, okay. stamina, like yeah. staying power. Yeah. You know, that's what I want to do. I have to, you know, yeah. I, I want to be able to be on stage for two hours, moving around, singing, performing, and um, I, I want to be able to do that to the best I can. Okay. So. Uh, you know, you, I, you gotta, you gotta keep moving. Yeah. You gotta move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you on a concert. Wow. Yeah. Uh, he can be your personal trainer. <laughs> <laughs> so a friend of mine said to his wife, actually, like, um, who, who goes to the gym every day, and she, and he was talking about trying to get in shape and stuff, and. He, he said to her that, you know, you should, you should just work out to like, he, he should do like a, a, a workout routine. <laughs> like for you. Follow what he does on stage. You know, but. <laughs> Thank you so much and see you in Poland. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks.